an industry group that is formed to develop interoper interoperability guidelines for connected health systems. So from a sensor with Bluetooth or Zigbee to a phone, and then from a phone or a hub to a, a medical system, an electronic medical system. So we're the world's only group working on this. It's a, an alliance with Intel, Cisco, major, major health companies and IT companies. So our mission is to establish a personal connected health system. So a system that you would, for remote monitoring, that a doctor might prescribe for you, or a system that you might buy to help you manage your health and chronic condition. So the way we look at this, you begin your life as a healthy in the most part. So we end up uh, diet focused. You start to get into your 30s as you Get into your 40s, you start to worry about keeping in shape, working out, that extra 20 pounds that hits. So how do we manage our lifestyles, manage our, manage our health? It will be with personal connected systems. So today, the healthcare system is really a sick care system. You go into the system when you're broken, and then you're, you come out, uh, and largely, your recovery is unmanaged. Your doctor says, good luck, call me if something goes bad, Meanwhile, if you've just had open heart surgery, you're scared to death. You have no idea how to manage your health. This is a broken system. All the protocols are built around these systems, whether it's the broken US system or even a nationalized system. Doctors are taught to take care of you when you're broken. So I think of this like a car. I know more about my car than I know about me. I've got my speedometer, my odometer, my uh, uh, gas gauge. So we're living life as if we have no speedometer and no gas gauge. So we have no idea how to manage our health. So we're working on interoperability systems to help with this. So this is a lot going on here, but basically, we, this is a health level. So we go through life thinking we're pretty darn healthy, when in fact what really happens today, especially, if you look here, that's a very young age. This re really represents childhood diabetes. There's so many kids around the world that are starting off in a bad spot. So you get sick, you drop down the curve, and you come back up. People are having heart attacks much earlier than they ever have before. So our idea is that we want to create systems, help create, enable people to create systems to keep you healthier, to keep you from breaking, going to the healthcare system, and then coming back, back to recover. So many, of, many chronic diseases are lifestyle-based. It's our diet, we're not exercising, we're not doing what we should. So, our thought is how can we create, help help create tools to help people manage their health a little better, course correct. Maybe while you're here at the show, you have an odometer that tells you, a system that wakes up and tells you you haven't walked enough this week. Go maybe walk around the floor for half an hour, get your 10,000 steps in. How can we help people course correct? So what this says is that heart disease, this orange part right here, that's lifestyle based. Not the right diet, you're not exercising. We want to move over here where you're, you're doing good, you're, you're, you're eating better, you're, you're, you've modified your health, and you leave the, there's some genetic components that cause these diseases. Well, let's modify our health and get the tools together to help us do that better. So this is some data just to show that we know that with personal connected systems, when you have remote monitoring, when you have someone helping you out, you actually reduce mortality, you reduce risk of hospitalization. So for example, in the United States, the Veterans Administration monitors all the ex-soldiers. They're sent home with a blood pressure cuff and a weight scale that's connected back to the doctor. We know that that helps improve health. So within Continua, we've built, designed many profiles for all of these devices. Profiles through Bluetooth, primarily. Uh, Android, Google just announced that on Android 4.0, they will include the Bluetooth profile from Continua. Continua went, looked at the Bluetooth profile, added better security, better pairing, and better privacy. So this year, Android will have that, and we expect many more Continua-based solutions to be in the market. So that's what we do. Continua goes out, grabs existing standards, checks to make sure that they're fit and suitable for health and wellness, and then what we did with Bluetooth, we developed the profile, called Health Device Profile and sent it back to IEEE. So it's an open standard. So first we want to look at the sensors to the device. So what you'll see is there will be many more phone-based devices and also this year watch for hub-based devices coming out. 
So a hub that you ship with a blood pressure cuff and a scale. There'll be many announcements towards the end of this year. So they, they ship, they work, you plug it in and they work. These are the types of systems this year that will be coming out. So this is the first part, continual looks at the low power radios. And then we looked at the wide area component. So from the phone, from the hub, what standards do we need? So we took standard HL7, Wi-Fi, GSM. So HL7 was the back-end component we chose because that's off the shelf. It's an existing standard. So Continua is an interesting uh, organization where you have Nokia, Qualcomm, but then on the other side, you have all the healthcare companies. We have uh, the NHS of the UK. We have Ascension Hospitals. So it's an interesting gathering of all these groups trying to develop the end-to-end -end components. And at the very back end, uh, we work with IHE, uh, the, the international standard, to work on PHRs and EHRs. So if you want to build a connected system, we have guidelines to help do that. Uh, Denmark, Japan, and Singapore just standardized on continuous solutions so that you can have interoperable solutions. Uh, I personally have tried to help many uh, companies develop a connected solution, a Bluetooth sensor with a Bluetooth phone. Without Continua at first, what happens is, you know today with Bluetooth, it's, interop is not that easy. And so every time we went to pull a new phone in, we had a lot of difficulty integrating it. Well, that won't happen with the Continua-based solutions. That standard profile will allow plug-and-play ability. So it will really allow the market to, to grow faster than we ever imagined because my, my friend Keith right here, let's say he has a managed care company. He buys a bunch of hubs, he buys a bunch of sensors, and he sends them to these gentlemen over here who look just fine. But then Keith says, okay, you know what? I want to add a different blood pressure cuff. Well, if it's Continua-based, it's very easy to get that back into that system. You don't have to go reintegrate it. That's the advantage of Continua. So another way to look at it, today's solutions that are Bluetooth based, many of them are proprietary, most of them. There's no plug and play ability. It's very difficult to scale like this, especially, let's picture that as a phone. It's very difficult to also keep track of the phone roadmap. I don't know what Bluetooth stack some of these companies, handset companies will use in the next generation. But again, now with Android 4.0, you're going to have a standard Continua Bluetooth stack in there that's going to make it very easy to do plug and play ability. So this is a, a, a rendering of what a Continua-based solution looks like. You're going to have the option to put many more radios, plug and play radios in and out of that system. It creates great scale and great business opportunities. Then with the IHE standard HL7 setups, you can go get off the shelf records that will speak to each other. So this is the, 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 the advantage of the Continua-based solution. Uh, and we're just now, again, uh, with Android releasing it on, on uh, their operating system this year, it will really allow much more scalability to occur. So these are the different segments. Basic segments, you might have some more, but really, when we look at wireless connected solutions, we're looking at remote monitoring. The goal there, reduce hospital hospitalization. Get discharged patients early, that's part of it. The real key is to pre prevent rehospitalization, chronic care, Many entities all over the world are trying to figure out how to care for elderly patients, patients with hypertension, diabetics. The idea here with a connected system is to promote compliance and prevent emergency visits. Aging in place, around the world, the populations are aging. We have found through various studies that the elderly can live at longer at home. The NHS stated that 30% of the elderly in homes could be at home, their own home, if they had the proper monitoring. Uh, remote caregivers, this is what we're looking at in India and other parts of the world. But the bottom line, all of these different segments, the same tools can be used. The same blood pressure cuffs, the same weight scales, uh, the same pill reminder systems. The idea with Continua is that if you're a vendor selling connected solutions, if you go with a Continua-based structure, you can hit all these segments with the same, same products. They're plug and play. So that's, that's the idea here. So around the world, as I mentioned, um, Japan actually implemented a Continua-based solutions during the tsunami so that they could keep track of these patients that were moving all around the, uh, the country. And they were able to get health systems up and running fast because they, were, they, could, they could take blood pressure cuffs and not worry about integrating them with a specific hub. They could send them to the Continua-based hubs and they already worked. So they were able to get an uh, emergency response system up very quickly. There are also, the Japanese government is implementing uh, uh, guidelines on metabolic disease. 
So the companies in Japan are, are stating that your waistline must be under 34 inches. That's actually uh, being, being upheld right now. So what happens is these, these workers need systems at home to help them manage the health. So the government is deploying and helping to deploy continuum based solutions. And in November, a very large operator called uh, uh, in, uh, Docomo NTT is deploying conti uh, uh, consumer health solutions. So in their stores, with a consumer phone, they're selling a blood pressure cuff and a weight scale and a free program to help their customers manage their weight. And, and Denmark will be recognizing Continua very soon. And we hope this makes its way through, through Europe. So here are some examples of some, some solutions that are out there today. There's a very large center called the Gar Garfield Center that has a, a large elderly population. They, they, they manage the, the elderly. And so they have deployed continuous solutions so, so that they can deploy hubs throughout the hospital, throughout the facility, but then they can very easily deploy a variety of different, different devices. One person might just need a blood pressure cuff. One might need, need a glucose meter and a scale. But it's very easy for them to bring them in. And if any of you have tried to integrate systems today, it's very difficult. So this is where probably one of the most valuable components of, of Continua for the next year will be that Bluetooth stack in that, in that, that radio. Uh, the tsunami, uh, the personal health records, that was the biggest advantage since it was a standardized health record system. If a patient was in Hiroshima and then went to Tokyo, that doctor in Tokyo could very quickly check that health record system. So again, the advantage are interoperable devices that can be uh, interchanged, plug and play, but then it all ties to a standardized back end system. So it really it was a tremendous godsend to the, uh, to the Japanese uh, uh, after the tsunami. And if any of you are in a developing region, Continua has a special membership. So if you're in a country where the GDP is less than $15,000, you can qualify for a special membership. So I'm, I'll be over at the, at the uh, wireless health booth here, the Qualcomm CTI health booth. So if any of you want to know more about Continua, please come over and, and let me know. So we're a global organization. Uh, we just kicked off Continua India uh, this weekend. So we have about 20 companies that will sign up. Because each region is very specific. In, in India, what they need to worry about is how do they get to the people, the villagers, that can't even make it into a clinic. So how do we help them build a system with a phone and a set of sensors so that a remote caregiver, a technician, can go out and do simple screening for people that have never been treated before? How can you go out and out of 100 people, find the five that have hypertension, find the five that have diabetes, get them in and treat them, and let them start managing their care earlier. That's one application. Uh, in the US, we are looking at managing chronic disease. How can you build chronic disease kits with a blood pressure cuff, a scale, a pedometer? That's the big market there. And aging in place. And here in Europe, aging in place is one of the big considerations of the EU. How can you take elderly people and allow them to manage their health at home? And that includes a variety of applications. One, again, the basic blood pressure cuff, the scale, maybe a glucose meter if they're diabetic. But the other uh, phenomenon we're seeing is that there are many companies of evolving that are looking at the out-of-pocket market. Will children pay to manage their parents' health and help? We, we, we believe that. We believe there's a big market. And we are called the sandwich generation. If you're somewhere in your 40s to 50s to 60s, you have kids and you have parents that you're watching. So these systems that are being developed have motion sensors so that you can tell that the elderly person 